Hello everybody, my name is Tokriva, and this is Sin City. This is going to be my very first Let's Play, and I really, really love strategy games. So, I'm gonna start off with Sin City. Uh, in the near future, you might see me play different games like 4X strategy, such as the new Civilization expansion that will be out very, very soon. I'm really looking forward to it. But I'm also thinking about playing some Game Dev Tycoon for you folks. But as my first one, why not just play the Sim City, the new one, of course. Uh, yeah, it has gotten a big, if bad rap recently with the really bad launch a few months ago. But the game has stabilized a lot since then. And now I'm going to play it for you guys and you can uh, watch me play it for now and once we get into this uh, you can actually help me out doing stuff I guess but for now we're going to play a solo game in this region Edgewater Bay Edgewater Bay is a new region it was added with uh, the newest update or with one of the expansion packs either the amusement park or the zeppelin but here you can see it says amusement park in other words it was added so recently but yeah i'm gonna play this seven cities one great work site just gonna play it solo so we can see how we can build up an entire region of cities and what i do like about this region is that every city is connected to one another for instance, in one of the big regions such as Titan Gorge, there's only four regions in every uh, part that are connected. There are only four cities connected together in these regions. So you have four different uh, mini regions within the region, basically. But seven cities, one great works, allows for some uh, dedicated stuff. Now, private region, obviously. Now we have to come up with a name. Let's just uh, call it Talk Paradise. I know, shameless self uh, advertisement almost, but why should we put some time in it now? These are the seven cities and the Great Works location. Uh, this is Fort Ferguson with a lot of coal, a lot of oil. S a lot of water and a little bit of wind it has every city has a rail connection I also think every city has a water connection because well it's a bay as uh, you can see it's a bay and every city has indeed a water connection but yeah Fort Ferguson good for an oil city as you can see then we have the next city is Graysmith Ridge. You have a uh, mountain range, it has coal and ore, and a little bit of water and also less uh, wind. Then here we have a canyon, as you see there is a canyon. It also has all the resources and yeah, so every city in this region seems reasonably good to pick for industrial cities. Now Mason Hill is a big hill in the middle of the city a different kind of challenge I guess for making a city it also has coal and ore again and this one has all has not a lot of it though but yeah it's it's a flat area with a high ridge around it on two sides that was Burton Basin then Gardner Valley very flat uh, has a little bit of ore and oil and it's uh, it says here it's ideal for uh, a tourist city and uh, finally, the city that I'm also going to play for this first time is Mackenzie Point. It doesn't have a lot of resources, it has a lot of water, I mean, it's uh, surrounded by on three sides by the water. And it has a little bit of coal. But I'm going to play Mackenzie Point because I want to start off with a general town that doesn't do industry, so I'm not going to make money by industry. I'm going to make money just with the taxes basically and what I do like to build really well is an educational town so this is going to be the college town here is going to be a university it's going to be a bit spread out I'm, I don't want to make perfect blocks I'm not going to play this to have it 
be min-maxing the city, get as much people in it as possible. No, this is going to be a beautiful region. Now, as you can see, we're at Mackenzie Point, access to the rail, the highway, and the water everywhere. So, we might dabble a bit in tourism, of course, but that's probably going to be the city over here that's uh, recommended by uh, the game itself as the tourist spot. Now, let's first start. We have our connection here to the highway and we need to build an avenue off of it. I'd like to start off with a high density at least for a little bit so I don't have a strange congested uh, area at the start at the at the very entrance of the city but due to the costs I mean we only start with 50,000 simoleons it's going to be uh, medium density afterwards now we're already going to start to make it a little bit uh, twisty and turny because that's more fun let's see okay this should be fine I do try to be a little bit uh, symmetrical in this one. What was it? 3,707. This looks fine. This looks symmetrical <laughs> enough for me. I mean, I have a little bit of OCD and that might come out in a game like SimCity, but this for now seems to be reasonable. It's going to be a nice place for our town hall, maybe some of the, the facilities like the fire station and the police station on this main road. And now we're going to build off of it. Now I'm not going to put any more connections on this beginning uh, stretch of avenue because I do not want it to uh, clog up anymore. So we're just going to be going straight out and we'll just pick about here. So make it make the city more beautiful. I mean, and now connect to that line. I mean, the lines are there for a reason. The ones on the outside are, of course, to guide with uh, maximum density. If you build on the far edge of it, that's the maximum a building can get. But if you build a road like that, then you cannot realistically build a house on the other side. Now let's finish up this bit of road here, so we can actually start getting some population. Now the road is a bit crooked, and that seems strange, but well, I just have to deal with it. I mean, we're not looking for the best of the best city when it comes to population now. Just let's fill this up with yes residential zones, here you see the highway and the cars very soon people will start turning off the highway and into this city to live here now the thing is in SimCity is this one it's very much uh, available to do whatever you want and region play is a big part of it so while this city is going to be the education hub and it's going to be the university area in the region, you still want some education in other cities of course. But for now we should just keep expanding the city a little bit more so we actually get uh, a good start at it. Now what I'm using here is the shift tool so that we only have perfect angles and in this case I want the starting angle coming from the center avenues to be very straight but now we're going to finish up with uh, now here you see you, you can find those perfect lines but again this is not going to be the main goal for this one at least for me now again more residential everywhere and some first commercial because people need jobs and we also need to put up our industry now very important for industry in some city is to know where which way the wind blows and in this case it blows from out of the region into the bay this is uh, pretty convenient that we just started on this side with uh, the people 
so we can put industry on the other side of the big avenue. Now the industry, as an education town, it is very beneficial to build up a high-tech industry. But first we need to connect towards the main route. We don't want these uh, connect these avenues and streets with their Wow, I'm forgetting the words. Again, well, I'm not English for I, uh, a native, so my native language is Dutch, and now I remember the word. I do English as my major in uh, university, but yeah, intersections should never be close together. And so we should go about here and then follow this road over here. This looks to be... We do want a little bit of... Uh, we do want some space for enough of them, so we'll just start with a straight road first. But this is going to be our industry area. Now I just need to fix this one up here. It doesn't really want to stick to the line now. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate, but it's... I guess that's just the game being obnoxious to me now. That's very well. Okay, now you see at the bottom it starts to go uh, red. It means it wants to... The people want this. The people want coal or wind power. But we're going to put wind power here. I'm going to, uh, for now, put it on, on this stretch with the industry that's going to be next to it because that's uh, might be the best uh, well it's the most spacious area i have right now and here we go with our industry and on the other side we will see that the people want water so on the other side we're going to build some water facilities but first we're going to make a bit of a curve road here so we actually can make the city look decent as well as uh, functional. I'm still on the wind map, I'm gonna close it now before it get really crazy. And here we have finished our first uh, neighborhood basically. And this one is going to have the water tower. And uh, we'll just put it right on this side of the road. And some more residential over here. Now it's very easy in uh, a game like SimCity to just spend too much money and I've done worse than this before so I'm pretty happy with having 16k at this point Let's see if we can build a road that uh, goes around the... That's uh, actually not going to be helpful. We'll just finish the stretch and put some a sewage pipe on the end of it here. Again, with the wind situation, the wind blowing across the city on to this side, it's beneficial to have any sort of polluting buildings on the side that doesn't blow all the pollution across to the people. But yeah, as we just saw, I can build a town hall, yay, and it's going to be right at the entrance of the city, so when people drive into town, you can actually see while, while placing it that it's crooked, but people instantly see, hey look, nice town, town hall at the beginning of it, so this uh, should work out in the long run. And, ooh, now we can name our city. And for now I'm gonna leave this as Mackenzie Point, it's not a bad name to be honest. But yeah, if, uh, if, if you're watching it and liking this video, then by all means just give me a silly name you want to... Uh, not necessarily silly, I mean, if you have a good idea, then please uh, help me with it. Okay, um, we're going to speed it up a little because we're actually in the negative with all the facilities already. And it's because people are not yet coming to the city. It's, it's going slow. 
but yeah, minus 3 per hour, now plus 69, that's not bad. Now, this city is going to be an educational town, so what we're going to need is a good mass transit system, so people from outside of the region can come and actually study here, So, but of course education will be the foremost. And the grade school will be the first one. Uh, we should definitely start our uh, continuing on with the infrastructure. I'm going to try to put it as straight possible from the edge out. So we... Uh, yeah, this is a little bit crooked, but it's okay. And the same we'll do here. So it looks quite straight after the corner. There we go. Now our city will keep growing like this, and here in the center ruler is going to be the facilities like the fire station and the hospital maybe at one point. Also the university and the schools, but also commercial. I mean for now I've put commercial here where the people will drive past when they go to uh, go to sh do the work and so they can shop when they come home but in the interest of making the city interesting to look at we're going to put some more on this uh, basically most of our commercial will be at least on the edges of the avenues it's not always the best idea to put buildings on avenues at least not uh, zoned buildings because turning in and out it creates a lot of traffic and that's the bane of this uh, game it's creating too much traffic now we're going to continue building on our roads it's going to be a, f a fantastic looking city I'm spending a lot now uh, but roads are basically wow these are a lot of lines <laughs> it's like every road you touch it wants to, uh, it suggests where else to put roads. Hmm. It's uh, very, very interesting. Now here, what we can do is make a small inside community. So, basically, it's not going to be such a big city. Whoa, okay, we need to go outwards as well. Okay, let's see how this works out. The line is a bit annoying, but okay, now we are talking. Okay, now this is going to be an experiment. I've played some SimCity before, but let's see how this will work when building the houses. Now, again, a bit of commercial on the end here, and in the middle, we're going to build a park because. It's not really useful to have houses there because they won't grow big anyway. Uh, barbecue, no, can be a bit bigger. Water playground. Uh, let's not build a basic one. Maybe, uh, yeah, a soccer field. That's a bit too big to put in there. A medium sized skate park. Uh, we can try this, yes. Hello, skate park. Now, the great thing about this SimCity is you can actually expand on your parks. So this park here can be expanded, extended with other pieces. But because of this circle being so damn small, there's not a lot of room to do this. So sadly this park will be this size and not grow any further. But yeah, look, our community is uh, growing a little so and having a park here makes the land value go up and eventually better paying better paid sims will move to these specific uh, housing areas now our industry is growing the biggest need wow we have a big need for commercial and as you see here this traffic jam is very annoying and it should be fixed but all these trucks are people moving in and out of the city, mostly in at this point. So it's it's traffic that's normally not there. So 
Okay, what do we want here? Doctor Fu, ah yes, no, I don't really like Doctor Fu, I might try him out in a different city, but for now this is going to be a plain city, not a lot of things to do, but yeah, I'm going to pump up the speed to Cheetah, so we can get some money, we're making 2,000 simoleons an hour, which is very good, but I want us to get a really early start on our education system, so it run it's already running efficient. Now, a basic grade school will cost 16,000, and we're going to put it right here. Here. So one more tick should be coming in now, and here is going to be our grade school. By putting it here, buses can use these, both these roads and these intersections to turn around, and that's very interesting. Parents plead with Mayor Tokrava about education, and eventually they were already talking about my university. Well, we can put it the speed a bit down, and as you can see, the green areas is how far people are willing to walk, and in this case, the kids want to walk a little bit. But again, there's a lot of commercial here, so there's no use to it. And that's where we have the bus stops. And if we put one here, everyone from the circle community, I have no idea how to call it other than that right now, but they, they will walk to here. They might not like to walk from these few houses, as it's not completely green, but it's light enough to uh, pick up everyone here. And the same goes if we put one. So we're going to put some more bus stops in. One here, and our final bus stop there. Now, people are very happy because their kids can go to school. And again, like the parks, schools can be upgraded as well. So, you can put in a sign and every every building needs a sign that's just something you can't go without and who the flag kids can raise it at the start of uh, their day but yeah the most important ones are the school bus lots it's that more people can be picked up and it seems that by placing it yeah basically sometimes when you put these buildings on a corner or a curving road you lack out on spaces, so I cannot put in the f maximum of five school buses that I'm allowed because there's not enough space. It that's something that that should be changed. But and the other one is more classrooms, of course. That's the other upgrade you can make so more kids can go to school simultaneously. On the right side here, it says education and students enrolled and not enrolled. There are a total of 328 kids that can go to school, and there's only space for 150 a day, so we're going to have to add one pair of classrooms, and to do that we need to up the speed of a little bit again, so we can get to 10,000 simoleons for a pair of classrooms. Now there are two types, there are the bottom floor and the top floor, basically you can build a school with four of these but you can also build one with two of these and two rooftops classrooms on top of them it's it depends on how much space you have in your city and how much space you're willing to expend to build such buildings now ooh, school has started and kids are enrolling it's pretty good but we need to be uh, need to put down this piece of classrooms Let's put it right, right here, that looks reasonable, and now we have our school, and the school buses are driving around town picking up all the kids, there's one right here, here's our school, there's nice stuff in this sim city, you can follow every person in the city basically is able to be followed, as well as the cars and buses. There are all different agents and you can follow them here. We pass our nice water tower 
and we're on our way to pick up. We can pick up five more kids in the bus. Let's see if there are any at this stop. We're full, now we're going back to the school. Dropping the kids off, giving them a full day of education. And this is the start of our beautiful town of currently Mackenzie Point. Uh, let's quickly see what uh, they what? want here. Ah, a free 5,000 simoleons if we get to 2,500 residents. We'll do that uh, next time. And yeah, some of the texts are still wrong because they're talking about 5,000 at the actual quest on the right side. But I, uh, the game, those are mistakes in the game that really don't matter that much to me personally. And as you can see, most of our traffic is gone. All the people have moved in. So, and uh, I'm going to sign off now and hope to see you for my next Let's Play video.